that was not particularly interesting as a question, having them equally distributed at the three different heights. So what happens if I want to make a more complicated hypothesis which doesn't have equal distribution across all the different categories? So I go to analyze a non-parametric test in one sample. And I go to settings and I customize the test. I can customize the chi-squared test. So I know that it's going to do a chi-squared test, but I can customize it. Now, the default is all categories have equal probability. What I can do is customize it so that they have a different probability. So imagine I want to change it. So there's a sort of uh, exponential decline in the number of leaf miners at the different heights. That would mean I want six in the first height range, three in the second height range, and one in the third height range. So I'm going to put category one, relative frequency, six, category two, relative frequency, point three, and category three, relative frequency, one. That's my new model that I want to uh, check out. I press OK. Now I run it again. Now it says you're running chi-squared test, a goodness of fit test with the specified probabilities that I put out. So one sample chi-squared test the significance value is still less than 0 0.001, so you still reject those probabilities. You have the same total number of measured leaf miners. Here, the test statistic has gone from 155 that it was before down to only 24. You've still got two degrees of freedom and the p-value is still highly significant. But now, if I look at my model, you see that the difference between the observed and the expected, the hypothesized, is much smaller. And in the second case, it actually is too high. You can keep refining your hypotheses as much as you want to based on some kind of model. You can't just keep fiddling around until you get something which is a perfect match because then you're just fitting the results to the data. You're getting no new information out of it. You have to come up with the model and then test it and you have to have reason for the model. So I thought that model had a good bit of reasoning, but it doesn't fit. So I can try another model if I want to. I do analyze non-parametric tests. Example. So if I look here, how can I, what other mathematical law could I do? So there I'd effectively got halving. So it goes 0 0.6 to 0.3, and then it goes to 0.1. So it halves each time. Could I do another thing? So it's possibly okay. 0.7. Whoops. 0 0.7. 0 0.2. Whoops. 0 0.1. I've got a smaller. Uh, hypothesis test, but I'm still rejecting the null hypothesis. Almost all of that rejection comes from this case. So this is a problem with chi-squared tests. If you've got very low numbers in one of your uh, categories, so in this case you've only got two, you can end up with those having an 
unusually large influence on the chi-squared test statistic. Right, so that's all I want to do for goodness of fit tests.